guys how are we all doing i hope you're all doing well and i hope you're having a lovely day i'm so 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 excited for this video so basically i'm going on a shopping trip with my friend caitlin and we usually have little dates together little trips together and we do loads of things um but today we're going on a christmas shopping trip we haven't seen each other in a while we're going to grab lunch coffee and go shopping and we're going to go to the metro center which is a really big shopping place near where i live honestly i never go there i usually just go to newcastle northumberland street but today we're going to go to the metro center so there'll be a whole new variety of shops that I don't usually go to and there's actually a Bath and Body Works there which has just opened or it's within another shop. I think it's within Next but anyway I'm really excited. I'm going to get some like Christmas candles and shower gels and I'm just excited. I'm ready to spend that money today like I, I can't contain my excitement okay so yeah we're gonna do that today and i thought i would just vlog i thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to do a festive come shop with me vlog i really hope that i'll come away from today with quite a few christmas presents i was writing down lists yesterday of what i kind of want to get people so i'm hoping i will tick off some people on my christmas list because i'm a little bit worried how behind i am i'm not really behind because we're in november still but i just want to get some christmas lists done okay i want to get some people's presents off the list so i don't have to worry about it so I'm excited. This was oil, none of it me. You put your hands on, on my body and told me. I'm giving you up, I've forgiven it all. You set me free. Oh. Anyway, this video is very kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa and I'm so excited about this because Ana Luisa was one of the first ever brands that I worked with. So it's like my YouTube's gone in a full loop and I'm really excited to be part of the Black Friday campaign and to be able to tell you guys about them because I think it is an amazing, amazing jewellery brand. If you've not heard of Ana Luisa, it is a jewellery brand who believe that luxury shouldn't come at a really expensive cost when it comes to everybody having that special piece of jewellery that they feel confident in. And I've used Ana Luisa for the last three years now if you look at my Instagram where I've got like jewelry collaborations a lot of earrings that I have are actually from Anna Luisa if you go back on my Instagram you'll say I've tagged them in many of my posts before because I love their jewelry and a lot of my collection is actually from Anna Luisa because I like jewelry that's sustainable that's gonna last us that's not gonna turn as green the quality is there but the price point isn't mad high because I'm not gonna lie the odd occasion I have lost a piece of jewelry so for me I can't afford to buy really 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 expensive pieces of jewelry when i know how clumsy i am and i thought it would be the perfect opportunity to tell you guys about them because if you are looking for a little christmas gift idea for somebody in your family and you do know that they're into jewelry then this could be the perfect thing for you the highest quality products but at affordable prices which is just a no-brainer as to why they're one of my favorite jewelry companies also have vetted factories and a transparent supply chain so we know that the products are sustainable three the three pieces that i'm actually wearing today are all from anna luisa so the first thing i have is this little gorgeous just dainty necklace now it is a very very small little dainty necklace but i hope the camera is doing her justice because she's absolutely beautiful she's on a gold chain with a little twinkle i just think this is absolutely gorgeous and i love it and it just adds a little something to your neck without being over the top talking about over the top though i do like very prominent rings so the next item i have is this gold ring with a big black stone i love this so much i am a talk a person with my hand and I do like to have nice rings on it's just me little thing I always wear rings and I just love them and this one is so gorgeous it is like I just love it so much and then the last thing I have is some earrings I'm a sucker for gold earrings honestly like an outfit isn't complete to me if I don't have a pair of gold earrings in and these ones are just an absolutely gorgeous hoop but they're kind of like a little bit de-shaped but what I really like about these ones is they don't hurt my ears and they don't turn my ears green I've had some cheap my hoops before that have actually really hurt my ears but I can wear my Ana Luisa ones all day without thinking about it they don't hurt my ears so that's why I really really like them a biggest sale of the year so if you want to buy anything from them now is the perfect opportunity you buy one product and you can get another product for 60% off what so you can get another product for just 40 percent of its price point so go and have a look see if there's anything you fancy see if there's anything you think that you can gift to your friend family members i'll have the link in the description below it's a perfect opportunity for you to 
go and get some pieces. I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna show you my full outfit because I feel like, you know, you wanna see it. I made an effort and then we are gonna go shopping. For the full outfit, I have a black leather skirt on, which I think this one I got from Primark. Yeah, I think I did. And then I have this gold belt on, which honestly is quite a staple. I really like it. This checkered mesh top, which again is from Primark. I have this gilet, which I think I'm pronouncing it right there, guys. Tights and then these boots, which are honestly a pair of boots that I'm just wearing constantly at the moment. I really like the look of them. I like the style of them. I feel like they match a lot of my outfits at the moment. Um, but this is a really cute outfit. I like this. I think it's very nice. And I've got my hair and make... Well, I've got my hair straightened. It's not an uncommon hairstyle. It's quite me common one and then my makeup I've just gone for quite a neutral look just didn't fancy doing anything too fancy so I've gone for quite a little neutral look but I'm really happy with it and yeah I'm gonna head off and go shopping which I'm very excited for okay guys we've finally made it a metro centre I went about five wrong turns but we're here and we're in Starbucks having a bit of lunch first so here's Caitlin Hello. I'm very smart so okay, like Caitlin went it. for the cheese toasty standard obviously standard. <laughs> and a hot chocolate it's very you fudge brownie hot chocolate yeah oh wow yeah. very chocolatey it's not as nice as the normal one I'm probably not the normal one. Oh really? Is it too chocolatey? I don't know. It doesn't no. really taste like the penny. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not recommending that then? I mean, I, it was nice when my mom and Harry had it, like yeah. in the week, and I got the normal one, but Sip I was going to like, I'll have the normal one. <laughs> Anyways, I had a cookie as well. Oh yeah, she got a cookie as well. I went for a flat white with oat milk, and then I thought I'll get some kettle crisp with the um, Beyond sandwich. It's like the vegan breakfast one. And then I got the little cake. So yeah, we're just gonna have this and then we're gonna go and do shopping, which I'm very excited for. I can't wait. The Christmas decorations. I like them baubles, they look really cute. We're heading off to next first to go and find a bit of Bath and Body Works. Very excited. Guys, we are, yeah, look, oh my God. They actually have plenty of stuff on the shelf as well. Lots of candles and shower gels and sprays. Okay, I'm gonna go have a proper look myself and I'll come back to you with my favourite. Quite a lot of stuff, but I am a bit disappointed with like the range. Like these are the only candles they have here. Whereas like in America there's like so many candles and these all like smell like men. Um they do have like a bit of a Christmas section, but I think on the website they have more. But yeah, it is good like to be able to get some bath and body work stuff here, but I feel like it's not the best range of stuff ever. Guys, look at the next festive stuff. There's so much. It's so cute. Um, and then they've got stuff over here, which is like Christmassy. So, got a little Santa cookie pot. Look at these, man, they're so cute. I literally love Christmas stuff like this. They've got some little glasses, towels. Like, you can turn every room in your house a bit Christmas themed. They've got like very traditional Christmas, like reds. Oh my god, their mugs are so cute. Ah, I love it. I have picked up a few bits for stocking fillers. And then they have like, oh, okay. Is that the teapot? No. Is that the teapot? No, it's outside. Oh, I'm totally missing it. Oh my god, guys, look at that. That is actually so cute. <laughs> Sean would kill us if I come home with a teapot. <laughs> Oh, look at them little grandma mugs and stuff. Oh, so cute. Oh, little one. Oh, <laughs> they actually have such a good little range. <laughs> that would be great if you'd done loads of like festive bacon, but I'm not that type of girl. <laughs> I won't be that type of girl this year. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it all. So we are in Taigo, which to be honest, never heard of, but Caitlin announced it and it looks so cool. Look at all the little baubles. I love them. Oh my god. They have so much. It looks so colourful as well, like there's so much to look at. They have some super cute mugs. Oh my god. Have I never been here before? Guys, so it's now like the next day and I'm so sorry that the Metro Centre vlog was like rubbish. I honestly thought I was going to leave Metro Centre, have an amazing festive vlog for you, but also actually have all my Christmas shopping. Well, a good bit of it. I literally walked out, I think I bought about three items, none of which were on my list, all just bits that i seen that I thought would be nice as extras for people. And it made us realise how much the world's changed due to COVID. Metro Centre, like literally Google it if you're not from around here. Let me Google it and tell you what it was or what it used to be. Metro Centre. 
It says Metro Centre is a shopping centre and entertainment complex in the uh, Dunstan area of Gatehead. More than 300 shops occupying over 200,000, 200 million square feet of retail floor space, making it second largest shopping centre in the UK behind Westfield, London. That is it, okay? It was huge. And honestly, me and Caitlin were walking around there yesterday and every single shop was shut. Debenhams was shut. House of Fraser was shut. Or Debenham, yeah, I think Debenhams was shut. Anyway, House of Fraser was shut. Selfridges, um, Top Shop, Pret, Pret. I couldn't even get my Pret. So many shops have shut and it's literally made us realise how much the world has changed and how much everything has been digitalised, more so now since covid because why are shop like shops are probably looking at it thinking well we're not going to pay to stay open when nobody comes because i don't think shops are as busy as they used to be at all now i think everybody does their christmas shopping online or their shopping i think it's easy convenient and honestly it was so sad like primark was there but they hardly hardly had anything on the shelves and i think that's because of the eu situation it was so sad to see the Metro Centre like it was. It was dead. There was nobody there. Obviously, it was a Tuesday afternoon, so, like, I didn't expect it to be heaving. But, like, in terms of shops, I was so disappointed. Half of the shops I hadn't even heard of, like, walking around, the ones that I did used to go to were now shut. And then Primark had nothing on its shelves. Honestly, me and Caitlin were both so disappointed. We walked away and, like, both of us just didn't have what we thought we would have got. So, I've come home. Today, I've actually done a lot of Christmas shopping online. I got all the stuff that I needed because I was getting a little bit worried. But I just feel like it's not as... It doesn't get you in the festive spirit, like, what, like walking around um, a shop does and looking at what you want and thinking of who you could buy for. So, I'm going to go to the trusty home bargains and... And we're going to go to Home Bargains and see if I can actually get in the festive spirit a little bit more. And hopefully, even if I just get some, like, Christmas cards or something, I just think I need to actually go to a shop and get some festive, like, things and actually, like, have a look at the gifts and see who I think it could be for. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, so I've just arrived outside of Home Bargains. We're going to go in and see if we can get anything festive. Just have a look even. Even just having a look I think will get us in the spirit because like I said, doing online shopping is not the same as being in a a, a shop full of Christmas stuff. Yeah, because there's less temptations. Like if I'm in a shop, I see all the temptations and I'm like, ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that. So in that aspect, it's probably better. But in terms of like getting in the spirit, getting festive, then it's definitely worse first thing that caught my eye was this brown basket with like the red velvet and tartan they have like a christmas eve box oh my god they are ready for christmas even some like little deco boxes let's see oh it's a christmas eve box sorry oh my god these are so cute little red wigger boxes basket love that i am trying to think of every possible place in my house that i could put this blue knot this is the theme i want my christmas tree like red white and candy cane but I just don't know where I could keep that realistically throughout Christmas. But I think it is gorgeous. You get 62 piece centerpiece balloon arch and a balloon pump. Oh my god. I really wish I could just find somewhere to put that. Oh my god. A little tatty teddy Christmas planner. That is so cute. And then you also have a little Christmas tree one. And then a little reindeer one. All for 99 pence. If you know a relative who likes Nivea, get here. Because they have so many Nivea sets. And then... Look at that big gold ice bucket as well. And then, oh my god, this is so cute with the reindeers. $6.99 steel ice bucket, but like festive themed. Love that. Cinnamon and mulled wine hand wash. I actually need a hand wash for um, the downstairs kitchen. So I think I might get that. It's only 89 pence. And I feel like it'll smell really festive. Okay, let's get it. Honestly, home bargains just nail it every single year. Look at that. Face book um a, a face sheet mask book they have some simple sheet masks these gorgeous little sets here they just do the best things for stock and fillers but even like some really reasonable main gifts as well look at that little sweet sleep queen oh i just love it look at that hair dryer for 12.99 can you complain little fluffy socks pajamas they just they nail it 
guys i actually have one of these ring lights if you have like a young daughter who's wanting to get into youtube or tiktok or anything like that they're absolutely perfect they're 20 pound they hold your phone they come in three different colors they extend really high i use mine all the time for tiktok instead of my big ring light because i just find it easier to manage um but yeah it's a 13 inch ring light guys these are so cute if you know someone who likes hot chocolate it's a hot chocolate station with the powder marshmallows candy canes I'm not sure what this is like frosting or sugar and pink marshmallows and they also have some like bigger sets with a mug and some socks as well or they have the smaller ones which just come in like a little reindeer pouch um i think these are hot chocolates as well that like melt in the mug so cute look at the little gingerbread that you put on your mug oh my god they are actually adorable they have so many biscuits and treats look at all them honestly oh my god i've just spotted some christmas jumpers at the back I'm really trying to get me and Sean some matching jammies and I haven't found any yet. I think I found the best Christmas jumper of the year. Would you agree? <laughs> oh my god, look, as if they've brought out their own Christmas jumper. That is so classic. £12 if you want to go in a home bargains Christmas jumper this year. Lots of storage bags for like putting your Christmas decorations down. I know it's kind of depressing to think about right now, but... If you want to get organised, this one fits a 7.5 feet tree, or they actually have these as well, which will fit like your decor ornaments and stuff. Oh, and they also have lots of different hooks and things that you might need for actually putting your decorations up. How cute is this little Christmas jumper oh, for Henry? Oh, and then Luna can be a reindeer. Reindeer? <laughs> a reindeer. This one's lovely though, I like it, how it's like got all the different things on it, and I like the colour scheme. Um, but yeah, I'd be scared that Henry would chew that off our back and choke on it so i wouldn't get that one but if i had two of them i'd probably get them but i've only got the one and i can't buy one without the other look at that guys a huge 24 day advent calendar for the dogs for 9.99 and it says it has approximately 100 treats in it that would be great for henry and Luna, but i'm not really sure what type of treats it is and then they have like a huge candy cane um for the dogs but i would really recommend you didn't get these um or any hide treat for your dogs because it's prone to get like stuck in their intestines and stuff and i hate when they do stuff like this at christmas because it's so bad for the dogs but like even them are hide and it's just so bad like i wish it was illegal to sell hide. anyway teddies they have some good stuff they've got like a carrot a santa or no a nutcracker a Christmas pudding, a gingerbread. I'm definitely going to be getting Henry and Luna's toys in here. Oh my god, look at the sprout. They will love that. And then they have some little bones, which are kind of festive. They're not actually real glitter. They're like rubber, so that's good. And they have a little robin. And then they have these. I actually think the pups will love this. I'm going to get them one. Um, I'm trying not to do like loads of shopping today, but these are so cute. The pups will love that. They have like a huge door bow. I love this. I think I'm going to have to grab this on my door because it is gorgeous i don't know how you put it up though oh there so you must like tie it at the back i love like classic red christmas my god guys look at how cute that is stop it they are adorable i love them and they have like huge gin glasses as well and then lots of like serving trays i'm coming back in a few days to get all of this because i was not prepared to get all this today look at that i love it i can't buy too much though because one i don't have the time to go through the tills with loads and two i didn't buy bring any reusable bags just one. Oh my god look at that gravy and a sleigh i love it they have like the glittery panacetas and then they have a big velvet bow decorative and then they also have a bigger one as well i want to do my tray like candy cane themed i really love these um, they are like adorable and then they have lots of red themed stuff to be honest they have quite a good selection which I like to say because you can't beat classical Christmas for me like you just can't I couldn't imagine doing my tree any other colour than red um, but yeah they just have so many oh I wonder if they have our initials there's Sean's are they gonna have a D for dickhead I just couldn't I mean for me don't we? oh no they never have my name now they don't even have my initial Guys, look at them for 9 99 You have a little penguin and a snowman and they're actually really big. Like, that's the comparison to my hand. Stop. Oh my God, look. It's literally impossible to find Super King Bedding anywhere. Um, and I was really struggling to find any Christmas and I found this red tartan. I've ordered one of Amazon, but I feel like I want to get this as well. Um, it's 17 99 They also have this, which is actually really cute. Um, or like, yeah, this selection. 
They also have a good selection of nutcrackers as well and some really big ones at the bottom for $14.99. Um, I really like the classical one on the end and then they have like some pinky white ones. He's actually so cute. And then some ballerina ones. My friend Kate would love that because she like does dance and I feel like that's just so her. Good selection of Christmas cards and then they also have some like huge ribbons for Christmases and some different coloured ribbon. These as well. My Nana always uses these to decorate our presents. They actually look really cute as well though. They have some natural cinnamon sticks which will smell really nice like around the house. And then some candle sets. They also have like their traditional with Fad and Co big set candles. Um, and then the Yankee can the Yankee candle style one as well. Um, but yeah, they have quite a good selection of like candles and reed diffusers. Perfect for your Christmas bacon. Look at that. Love that. These are so cute as well, little moulds. And then they also have a cake mould of Santa's face. So long, farewell, b &M, it was real fun. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Guys, I need your help. Tell us three things I can do to get more festive because I'm just not feeling very festive. <clears throat> anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope I get a little bit more festive in the coming weeks. I mean, it's getting there. I'm getting a bit of a jingle, but not a big jingle. And I want to be jingling. But if you would also like to join in on Anna Louise's Black Friday sale, then you can get yourself you can get yourself one item and another item for 60% off. It is a huge, huge, huge bargain. The biggest savings that they've done this year. So get involved in the Black Friday. Treat yourself. Treat your family. Just do whatever, go wild, get your Christmas presents. But thank you so much for watching this video. Name one thing I can do below to get in the festive spirit. Because I am just not in it yet. Is it too early? Is the pressure to be in the festive spirit? Like, you know, way before time a thing? Am I like just not feeling festive but that's okay because we're still in November? Or should I be feeling festive? Name something I can do in the comments to feel festive and I'm going to try and do them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again shortly for another one. Bye.